everybody, welcome back to another video. I am so excited to show you guys what I have gotten in the past two weeks at antique stores and thrift stores. So we are actually going to be redoing my house, kind of. We are going to be putting down new flooring. We actually have carpet in most of our house right now, and we're gonna go to all like tile flooring or wood flooring. I don't really know what the term is, so don't like, come at me for that. But we are going to be changing that up, and I will be getting tile, which I am so excited for, or f whatever flooring. Hardwood flooring, I guess, is what you call it. I've had carpet in my room my whole life. Um, I'm notorious for spilling makeup all over the floor because I am a makeup artist, so my makeup area is a little uh, messy, per se, to some people. I think it's organized in my own way. <laughs> um... But anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering, and we are going to get on with what I have found for my new room. And there's one clothing piece, which I will get to in the very beginning. Alright, so in my local neighborhood, we actually have a couple antique stores, so I'm very fortunate for that. They're actually like right down the road from me, from where I've gr grown up and lived my whole life. So, it's very special to my heart. I love that it's right there and I can just shop whenever I want to. So as I mentioned earlier, I did get one clothing piece and it is this authentic 1950s um, apron skirt, I guess is what you call it. Um, I'm really into pink, if you guys can tell, which this will actually be taken down because it's a little bit too modern for what I'm going for. Um, I will be posting photos on screen of what I have been looking for, but this I just thought was so pretty it's pink I love pink and like I would wear this to school that's the thing about me is I would just wear I wear whatever I want to school and I don't really give a crap what people think about me so yeah but I really love this I think it's just so I mean you can tell somebody just definitely stitched this so like they cared about what they were doing the detailing the ribbed texture and the pocket it's real it's just I love it so much um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this was $5, but then it was 10% off because the person's, like, area was that. I think it came out to four sixty after tax. So, I just, I love it. It's so pretty, and I'm so excited to wear it. Alright, so the first thing I got is actually a picture frame, which I'm not too sure it's vintage, but it's so pretty, and it's going with my theme. So, I figured I'd pick it up. It was $4.99 and I got this at the red racks near me. It's by Cynthia Rowley, New York. It's a four by six. And I will actually be showing you guys what I'm gonna put in this. So stay with me. So to put in that stuff, I have been looking for um, vintage photographs and all that kind of stuff, postcards. That's like what I really wanna decorate my room with. The feel is vintage, okay y'all? That's the feel, girly vintage, it's like me, 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 me. I love it. So I picked up actually three. Um, first I picked up this one. Her name is Alice Halter. Um, it does not say what year this is. Just, I just can't believe this person was alive and I just am holding, I just, it's so cool to me. Like, this person was a real person, had feelings, had a family, had a life, and is no longer with us, and I'm holding a piece of her, and, you know, me saying her name, I believe that when you say somebody's name who's in the grave, I just, I don't know, I just, it's so heartwarming for me. Alright, and the next one is John F. Mason and his family. Um, this is not, say, the year either but i just thought it's so interesting because i know they had to stand there for like ever to get the photograph done so they just don't look very happy but like honestly could you really be happy back then like i don't really know but i just loved it Ugh. like i just can't believe i'm holding his history like it's and you can see that they're all damaged because like it's obviously old so you know all right and this one's actually in plastic um I don't know what year this is from either, but I'll read you the back first. Age one and a half years old, Lily Cameron Solman? Solman, maybe? I can't really. It's very old time cursive, so it's, I read cursive, it's just hard to read because of the handwriting. But here she is, I just, oh, I just can't believe. Like, it's just so interesting to me. And I know it's probably not interesting to a lot of people. 
but like it is so old like I'm gonna keep it in the plastic obviously but I want to show you guys like this thing is like so old I'll show you the handwriting just so interesting and I really wish I would know like what year it's from it's just it's so cool I'm probably the weirdest person alive but I just love holding pieces of history if that makes sense I just something special about it couldn't tell you and that I actually got at the local um antique shop I'm not gonna show you guys the name because it exposed where I lived and I'm not about that life I don't want you guys to come find me <laughs> and continuing in the antique shops that are near me um I got two other things and then the rest are from thrift stores actually so I'll go over that in a second though you can already hear them clinking I don't want to break them <laughs> All right, so here they are. They are little cherubs. They're so pretty. Um, I've been looking for cherubs everywhere. And, like, I'd find them, kind of. But they weren't, like, exactly what I wanted. And they'd be, like, eight bucks for, like, a little itty-bitty one, like, this big. And I'm like, I just can't justify that. But I found these two. There's the first one. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but I'm trying. And then the other one, which is so traditional to me. Like, when I think of them, I think of this. So they were actually a grand total of a dollar each at an antique store. Like, you don't find that because antique stores tend to be a little bit more pricey because it is kind of curated. Um, thrift stores, kind of, if that makes sense. If you've never been to one. Um, they're just so, they're exactly what I wanted. Um, they are made in China, so they're not anything, like, religious or special, I guess. Um, I don't really know the back history of it, so don't clock me. I will probably learn eventually, but I just don't know right now. They are just so pretty. They're hollow. Porcelain. Just so beautiful. Alright, and now we're going to go on to thrift store stuff. I know I showed you guys that picture frame, but it was because of the photo thing. So, anyway. Um, so, the first things I'm going to show you are just going to be figurines. I'm not, I'm, I'll tell you guys where they're from and everything, but... I wanted to go on the cherub train again and I actually found this one or should I say my boyfriend actually found me this one which is so he's not my style at all um but I told him and he's like oh this he just went like oh like this bro what how did you find that so quickly like I couldn't even find like I already had walked past there and he's like oh like this I'm like yes so this little dude or girl or whatever is a little angel kissing. I feel like there should be one right here, but I just don't know where I would find one, and there wasn't with it, so I don't know. Again, it's hollow, and this was a dollar ninety nine, but I'm pretty sure orange tags were twenty five percent off. I think so. It was something cheaper than that. I don't have the receipt anymore, but yeah, a great little find, and they aren't. He's not exactly the same color as these two, but, you know, I don't care because they are with my theme and I love them so much. And, you know, the funny thing is, actually, used to be my mom's style. Um, her wedding cake actually had little cherubs on them. And she's so mad at herself because um, at her old house, she used to have, like, an indention in her ceiling. And she actually had little cherubs that sat in the corner. And she's like, I wish I would have saved it for you because you would have had a bunch. Like, she had a bunch. And, like, her wallpaper and that little thing was cherubs. I just so pretty like I remember it now and like remembering it was so pretty all right staying on the figurine train I think these are called precious moments figurines um if I'm not I will correct myself in the editing but she is the you're the sweetest cookie in the batch one she's holding little cookies and I think it's just so cute like I needed her um I can't really remember I think she was like two dollars or a dollar she was really cheap um, she's just so pretty, and I just feel like she fits, like, she's me. I want to be her. Can I please be her? Like, I want to be that cute. I want to, I want to wear that. Like, it's so cute. Oh. I just love it, and yes. All right, and my last figurine for this section is this little bunny. It was made in Malaysia for Oxford. I don't know what that means, but he is so cute. I just think, ugh. Just, I love spring, so like when spring comes around, I'm gonna be so happy because we didn't get a spring last year. But anyway, I'm going off track. Um, just so cute. I love this little bunny. 
and he was actually $3.99, but, but, um, he actually was 25 cents because, um, he was green and green tags were 25 cents that day. So definitely perfect. That's the only reason why, like, I wouldn't have gotten him if he was going to be $4. Like, that's kind of insane for a little bunny. But when he was 25 cents, I was like, yes, I need you. All right, my next um, items are going to be a miscellaneous. And then I have two lamps. Um, so, yeah, let's get on to that. So, again, with my boyfriend coming in clutch, he also found me this at the Road Racks. So cute. It's dirty. I need to clean it. But... It's like my aesthetic. I just can't, I just, <clears throat> it's iridescent. I know it's not popping up on screen, but it's iridescent. It's so pretty. Um, I think I'm gonna put some like jewelry in here and like kind of have it coming off the side and like all pretty. I'm excited for my room and I'm gonna film my whole room makeover, I'm pretty sure. So look out for that video. Anyway, um, I'm just so excited for this. It was such a great find. Um, I can't quite remember. I think this was $2.99, which is a pretty good deal. I mean, porcelain or I don't even know what this is called but it's not glass but I just love it it is so pretty look at that detail the flowers are so pretty I'm very happy with this item all right and this next thing is so pretty um it is this little what do you call this like a tea tea pour it's not a teapot I don't think Oh, the right shape right I don't know I will look it up and I'll put it right here but it is just so pretty it has this beautiful gold detailing with the flowers right in the middle um I don't know if I drink tea out of it because it's kind of kind of dirty but I will clean it hopefully but it's so pretty little top comes right off um I found this at a local goodwill and I also found I forgot to mention this little bunny was from good from Red Racks. And I found this at Red Racks too, or my boyfriend did. So I wanted to make sure you guys knew that before I continue. Um but yeah, at a local Goodwill. I think this one was $4.99, I'm pretty sure. But yeah, I literally it's so pretty. I wanna get little teacups. Get little teacups. But we'll find that one day, right? <laughs> very happy with this purchase as well. I'm happy with all these purchases. I don't know why I'm acting like I'm not. But. All right, so the next thing is this plate. It has blue flowers on it. It is a porcelain plate made by Len... Flannan? Flannan? I don't know how to say it. Weldon. Um, it was made in Bavaria, Germany. Um, I can't see what the year says, but um, it's in Bavarian blue. And it's porcelain. I already said that like 10 times, so if you guys shut the frick up. Anyway, um, it's just so pretty. I'm gonna put little my like jewelry on this um, on my makeup table, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I'm very happy about this. I might put some perfume and stuff. This was found at a Goodwill. No, was it a Goodwill? No, it was a Salvation Army. Salvation Army? Salvation Army. Sorry, I can't speak today. I just worked, so my voice is like, Hoo. Anyway, yeah, it was 99 cents, and I believe this was half off, so it was actually 50 cents, so yay. All right, so the last thing before we get into lamps, which I have two lamps here, I already told you that, but whatever, um, is, I'm so happy. So I've also been obsessed with Disney, like, well, I mean, I've always been obsessed with Disney, but I've been obsessed with Beauty and the Beast, specifically the live action one. I, like, literally watched it, like, 10 times in two days. I'm not joking. Like, I'm pretty sure it was 10 times. And I even made my boyfriend watch it, and he is not a princess person. Um, but I really was like, I really, really, really want a... I really want I can remember now. I really wanted a Lumiere. So, I was like, I need a Lumiere. I need one. I need one. I need one. So, then when I went to Red Racks with all the other stuff, with my boyfriend and everything, we're about to go check out, and I just turn my head at the right time, and I see this, and I'm like... Oh, my lanta. Like, oh my gosh. I, f oh, I almost got hit in the face with it. I found this candlestick holder. And it was such a good price, too. Um, it is a five stick holder, candlestick holder. It's got gold accents and it's got this marble plate right here. It is freaking heavy. Um, I don't know if somebody has put candles in here, but it's fine because I will too. But you can see the red wax right inside there. But it doesn't really, definitely needs to be cleaned up. There's some spider webs. She's a little dirty. It's okay, though. 
and it was a whopping $6.99 and I was looking at them like on Depop and stuff and they'd be like a hundred bucks and I'm like I ain't paying a hundred bucks for that I'm just not I just I can't do it <laughs> and I was so happy that I found this I think I'm gonna get some white ones or light pink I don't know yet um comment down below what color I think I should do but yeah I <laughs> love this but trust me they keep getting better i promise who would have thought i could talk about antique stuff all day like all right so the next thing is a lamp we talked about that earlier that the last two things are lamps um this is a little bit out of my style zone but like it's still in my style zone it's just not the same and i really actually like it a lot um so it is actually this glass lamp it needs to be cleaned up everything needs to be cleaned um he's a little wobbly it's okay though we're gonna fix it because he just needs to be tightened actually um it actually has the star of david on them right here which we didn't notice until we got home so i'm not like trying to like take anybody's religion or anything i just loved this lamp i thought it was so pretty um and it's not exactly like all my other things but i think it has that aspect and it'll be so pretty on my shelf and everything all right and the last thing which is the best thing i have thrifted I'm gonna say it in my whole life. I can't even explain how good it is. Da -da 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 oh, you just kind of saw a little bit of it. Don't peek, don't peek. I'm gonna sit up. Oh. Okay. I grabbed it. He big. He about this tall. Can you see my hands? How tall he is? Oh. I am so happy. Oh my Lanta look at how beautiful this lamp is it is oh, stunning somebody definitely put a new bulb on this um it's got an led bulb i don't know how i feel about that i don't really like white light if that makes sense it just kind of bothers me i don't know how to explain it anyway stop rambling it is this beautiful made in italy um little lamp it's got cherubs on it i I literally like almost wanted to just scream in goodwill whenever I found this today before I went to work. And guess how much it was? Me thinking I saw a cost room, I'm like, that's gonna be like $25. And I don't wanna pay that much money. Girl. Girl. $4.99. For this, I saw one that looks identical to this, blue, that sold for like $900. $900. Did you hear that right? Yeah, $900. I can't do that. Anyway, literally I'm so happy. Who dare? Somebody talking at me. It is hollow, which is fine. I don't care. It is just, I just can't explain. I just am in love with it, and it's everything I ever wanted, and the best thing I've ever found at a Goodwill. Alright, and that is it for my room decor antique shopping haul, slash thrift store shopping, I guess. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There probably will be more parts to this, because I probably will find more, so keep out for those videos if you want to see more. Comment down below whatever videos you guys would like to see from me next. Thank you for tuning in this Monday, and I'll see you next Monday. Bye, guys.